Using data from NASA's retired Spitzer Space Telescope, scientists have gained new insights into the eating habits of supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies throughout the universe. These black holes often fluctuate in brightness from the massive clumps of cosmic material falling into them. However, this is not true for the black holes located at the centers of the Milky Way and the Andromeda galaxies. Instead, they remain fairly quiet and rarely ever vary in brightness. To find the cause of the decreased activity around the black holes, a new study used observations from Spitzer and Hubble to model the black hole and the material surrounding it at the center of the Andromeda galaxy. Hello and welcome to ZE. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. In images from Spitzer, long streams of dust that span thousands of light years in length can be seen flowing into the supermassive black hole at the center of the Andromeda galaxy. The closest major galaxy to Earth, located at about 2.5 million light years away. As cosmic gas and dust fall into supermassive black holes, such as the one located in Andromeda, the material heats up and begins to glow creating light shows around the black hole that can glow brighter than entire galaxies. However, this material isn't absorbed all at once. Instead, the material is consumed in clumps that vary in size, causing the brightness of the black hole to fluctuate. Interestingly, the supermassive black holes located at the center of the Milky Way and Andromeda are among the quietest known black holes in the universe when it comes to consuming cosmic material, or eating. When light is emitted from the black holes, the light doesn't significantly vary in brightness, which could mean the black holes are feeding off of a small and steady stream of cosmic material rather than different sized clumps of material. Earlier this year, a team of scientists applied the hypothesis of a black hole feeding on a small steady stream of cosmic material to the Andromeda galaxy and simulated how gas and dust around Andromeda's black hole would behave over time. The simulation revealed that a small disk of hot gas could form near the black hole and continuously provide the black hole with a flow of cosmic material. The disk can constantly provide the material due to the disk being replenished by numerous streams of gas and dust. However, the team also found that the streams replenishing the disk must remain within a particular size and flow rate. If they become too big or too small, the material would fall into the black hole in clumps of various sizes, leading to the black hole fluctuating in brightness, which the Milky Way and Andromeda black holes do not do. When looking back at previous observations of Andromeda from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and Spitzer, the scientists found spirals of dust that fit the constraints highlighted by the simulation. Using these images, the team concluded that the spirals were indeed feeding the supermassive black hole at the center of Andromeda. This result also means that a similar process is likely taking place at the center of the Milky Way, given that the two black holes exhibit similar behaviors and characteristics. This is a great example of scientists re-examining archival data to reveal more about galaxy dynamics by comparing it to the latest computer simulations. We have 20-year-old data telling us things we didn't recognize in it when we first collected it," said co-author Almudena Prieta of the Institute of Astrophysics of the Canary Islands and the University Observatory Munich. As mentioned, images from Spitzer were used to confirm the scientists' hypothesis. Spitzer was launched in August 2003 atop a Delta II from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station and was the third telescope dedicated exclusively to observing the universe in infrared. The joint NASA, European Space Agency, and Canadian Space Agency James Webb Space Telescope is another telescope that exclusively observes in infrared. Observing in infrared has many advantages, most notably that it gives scientists the capability to see through thick layers of dust that are present in galaxies and other cosmic objects as well as the capability to see the very early universe. Spitzer's observations of Andromeda were performed using different wavelengths, each revealing different features of the galaxy like stars and dust structures. By separating the wavelengths and solely looking at the dust, the scientists were able to view the skeleton of the galaxy or regions where gas has coalesced and cooled, 
creating stellar nurseries where young stars can form. Viewing the galaxy in this way surprised the scientists. One surprise was that Andromeda is dominated by a large dust ring rather than conventional distinct arms that circle the center of the galaxy. Additionally, a large hole was found within the ring where a dwarf galaxy passed through. Even though Spitzer has a field of view that is wider than Hubble's, the telescope still had to take around 11,000 images of the galaxy to create the image used in the study. The Spitzer Space Telescope has provided astronomers with significant insights into the eating habits of black holes, enhancing our understanding of how these cosmic giants consume material from their surroundings. By observing the infrared emissions from regions near black holes, Spitzer has revealed key details about the processes involved in accretion, where black holes draw in gas, dust, and other matter. Observing Accretion Disks one of Spitzer's significant contributions has been the study of accretion disks, the swirling disks of material that form around black holes as they pull in matter. These disks heat up due to intense gravitational and frictional forces, emitting radiation across various wavelengths, including infrared. Spitzer's infrared capabilities allow scientists to penetrate the dense clouds of gas and dust that often obscure these disks in visible light, providing a clearer view of their structure and behavior. Variability in black hole feeding. Spitzer's observations have also shown that black hole feeding habits can be highly variable. Some black holes exhibit periods of intense activity followed by quieter phases, reflecting changes in the amount of available material and the dynamics of its accretion. By monitoring these fluctuations, scientists can better understand the factors that influence black hole growth and activity. Feedback Mechanisms Furthermore, Spitzer has helped illuminate the feedback mechanisms that occur when black holes feed. As material is pulled into a black hole, some of it is ejected at high speeds in the form of jets or winds. These outflows can affect the surrounding environment regulating star formation and the distribution of gas and dust in the host galaxy. Spitzer's data on these feedback processes contribute to a more comprehensive picture of the interplay between black holes and their galactic environments. Insights into distant and early black holes. Spitzer's ability to detect infrared emissions from very distant black holes has provided a glimpse into the early universe. By studying black holes at great distances, scientists can investigate how these objects formed and evolved shortly after the Big Bang. This research helps to trace the history of black hole growth over cosmic time, offering clues about the development of galaxies and large-scale structures in the universe. Multiwavalanched Synergy The Spitzer Space Telescope's findings complement those of other observatories, such as the Hubble Space Telescope and the Chandra X-ray Observatory. By combining data from multiple wavelengths, astronomers can construct more detailed models of black hole behavior and the physics of accretion. Spitzer's infrared observations are particularly valuable in this multi-wavelength approach, filling in gaps that other telescopes cannot address. Future Prospects Although the Spitzer mission ended in January 2020, the data it collected continues to be a rich resource for astronomers. Ongoing analysis of Spitzer's observations is expected to yield new discoveries about black holes and their role in the universe for years to come. Future infrared observatories, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, will build on Spitzer's legacy, providing even deeper insights into these enigmatic cosmic phenomena. In summary, the Spitzer Space Telescope has significantly advanced our understanding of black hole eating habits by revealing the intricacies of accretion processes, the variability in feeding behaviors, the impact of feedback mechanisms, and the evolution of black holes in the early universe. Its contributions have been pivotal in shaping our current knowledge and will continue to influence future research in astrophysics. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about the wonders of our universe, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. Let us know in the comments what other space topics you'd like us to cover. Until next time, 
keep looking up at the stars. Remember to subscribe and stay tuned for more cosmic explorations. See you in the next video.